Hello everyone, thank you for watching. This is treatment day number 14, so I'm almost exactly halfway through my treatments, which is great. Uh, I wanted to talk in this video about my last two appointments, some of the major side effects I've been having from all this, and what I talked to my doctor about yesterday involving those side effects. But just real quick, if you guys haven't yet subscribed, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really helps. Every form of engagement is great. We love hearing from you guys. We love reading your all's comments. We love having a great support team like you guys. It really means the world to us. Uh, anyway, so I didn't post yesterday like I was supposed to because I have been feeling awful. I don't know if you guys can tell in this video right now, but my face has been swelling. It's been red. It's just been over the top bad. Uh, they say it gets worse before it gets better. I think it's still not getting better yet. So, but yeah, that's why I didn't post yesterday. I just wasn't feeling the best. Um, so I'm posting today, and I think from now on, I'm probably just going to be posting twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday, because this three days a week, it's it's really hard on me. Uh, this radiation's really kicking my butt here lately. So back to what we were going to talk about. Um, so what happened Tuesday was pretty interesting. Um, I was actually laying on the table getting ready to go through my treatment, which they lay you down. And in case you haven't seen, I have a lot of footage of that. They lay you down, they lay you back, and they put this net mask over your face, and they clip it down, and that net mask is there to hold your face in position. Well, after they had already clipped my face down and in position, the generator goes out. So they have to go call a maintenance guy to come and look at the generator, to then reset it, and then to wait for it to reboot, while I'm laying there on the table. So I laid there probably an extra 20 minutes while they did all this. And normally I'm just there for 15 minutes. So an extra 20 minutes makes a huge difference. Um, so if anybody is claustrophobic, that was not a good position to be in. Thankfully, I am not too bad claustrophobic, though I have been noticing lately, I do start to get anxiety about laying there on that table. And I think it's more so because of the reasoning why, obviously as opposed to me actually being claustrophobic. As far as yesterday's appointment went, which was my long appointment where I talked to my doctor, which is every Wednesday, about side effects I may be having from radiation. So I had me, my wife, and my eight-year-old son was with me because he actually missed school. He wasn't feeling too well, so he ended up coming with us. It's funny because normally he doesn't like going to the doctor with us because he associates me going to the doctor as going four hours away to Nashville because that's the only time he's really went with me to the doctor was when I had to go to Nashville. Um, but thankfully from here to Nashville it's only 45 minutes so it was just a shorter trip but he was nervous about it at first. Um, and we get to the radiation place, appointment, you know, it kind of took a little while waiting in the waiting room. Um, and then once we finally get to go back there, uh, everything went normal. No generator going out today, thankfully. Um, so we go back to talk to Dr. Meek and I have a list full of side effects that have been happening to me. I mean, I've been having uh, runny nose constantly. I'm talking constant all the time. It does not stop running. My eye, it keeps watering. It's just pouring out most, most of the time. Um, real bad burn, real bad, like around here in this area. It's, it's been getting real bad. Um, nosebleeds. Now, they haven't been bad nosebleeds, but they've been enough to where I've noticed them, like when my nose is constantly running, uh, a little bit of blood comes out in them, and it made me a little bit nervous. Uh, so, we talked to Dr. Beak about these side effects. Oh, insomnia. Insomnia. Uh, a lot of insomnia. It's hard to, like, lay down and get comfortable. Like, I'll be tired, but it's hard to just finally go to sleep. That's part of it, too, because when we get in there, we talk to him, and I start telling him about all these side effects, and according to him... For where I'm at, with the dose of radiation I'm getting, these side effects are not abnormal. You know, it's just something I'm going to have to deal with, and it's just three more weeks and two days left, so it's not that bad. You know, I can handle it, and obviously it's all worth the outcome. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to take a second to talk about some upcoming videos I'm going to be having. I am finally getting a microphone coming in the mail by Friday, so I'll be able to actually talk to you guys with better audio quality, thankfully. Um, I was also wanting to do an upcoming video about, you know, tips for dealing with cancer because when I was newly diagnosed, it was incredibly hard the first month to just wrap your mind around everything. So I thought about maybe doing a video for tips to how to deal with being newly diagnosed with cancer, some things that people told me that helped me and, you know, is helping me along today. Uh, I, I really couldn't do any of this without the support of you guys, by the way. 
at all. Couldn't do it. Um, you guys make this so much easier. Um, but anyway, if you guys haven't yet subscribed, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really helps. We really appreciate it. Every like, every comment, every form of engagement is great. Anyway, I guess that's about it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video.